For the fourth consecutive year, FIMI, through the Global School of Leadership of Indigenous Women, carried out the program on human rights and international advocacy strategies with the full and committed participation of 21 Indigenous women leaders and human rights activists from five regions of the world. The program consists in three stages, a distance learning through a virtual platform, a face-to-face -face seminars, and the development of an advocacy plan designed by the participants to be implemented in their communities. When they come to New York for the two weeks, it is a moment where they are face to face and they are learning from each other. So they are uh, also spend, they spend uh, two days at the UN, uh, the, f the first week, and where they meet with various officials at the United Nations, then they also meet with each other and they start talking about their action plans. And then they come here for three days at Columbia University. And the concept of our program here at Columbia is that we create a complementary program to what they have been doing already in the distance, through the distance learning. So, and we um, have, uh, we rely on a pool of, of our professors here at, at Columbia but also uh, there are two professors from the New York University that join us. The Global Leadership School of Indigenous Women has trained more than 100 Indigenous women from around the world. In 2016, the program received for the first time candidates from the federal state of Micronesia and Vanuatu, contributing to the strengthening of the Pacific Regional Networks. Likewise, the participation and high commitment shown by women leaders from South Africa and Nigeria was substantial this year, as these countries were connecting and coordinating with FIMI for the first time. In addition, three of the participants from the 2015 National Program on Human Rights, Food Security and Nutrition, carried out by the Global School in partnership with the Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, were accepted in the international program, resulting in their continuing strengthening of their knowledge and empowerment as indigenous women leaders. I was one of the first participants at FEMI International Global Women's School in 2013. It was a great experience for me because it was just meeting so many other different women from around the world, Indigenous women from around the world. And listening to them speak their traditional language was just really amazing. And also just seeing that we all had the same issues and the same struggles, it brought a really lot of unity to me being in the Global School. It also made me understand what the international law was about. Indigenous women uh, of FIMI launched themselves into the second week then of their stay in New York where they participate at the permanent forum and then uh, their job is to be Indigenous advocates and advocate for their cause for whatever is their issue you know depending where they're from. Today I'm here to advocate for Indigenous women's rights and protecting our land, our sacred mother earth, protecting our cultural rights, and mostly to support our spiritual unity as indigenous people. And greetings to the Poland Forum on Indigenous Issues. También recomendamos al Mecanismo de las Naciones Unidas su esfuerzo para la atención a las demandas de las mujeres indígenas en sus derechos ambientales y cuestionar a los estados el cumplimiento a estos derechos para que no se siga violentando y pierdan sus vidas buscando el respeto y reconocimiento de nuestros derechos colectivos e individuales como mujeres indígenas. This year's edition, 20 indigenous women leaders participated for the first time in the sessions of the Permanent Forum and the relations between the Forum Secretariat as well as other female strategic partners were ratified and consolidated.
Durante todo el proceso y el aprendizaje que adquirimos en la Escuela Global, nos ayudó a fortalecer netamente nuestra organización y en poder tener la información necesaria para prepararnos a, tener, a exponer nuestras demandas de una forma más adecuada y nos hemos aliado con otras redes que nos han venido a complementar y nosotros también a complementar la información. Esto implica de que la escuela nos ayudó también a crear nuevas alianzas. FIMI uh, aims at uh, sharing this program with people who are committed to work at community level. FIMI from the very beginning appeared, was so, appeared and was and is uh, one of the most representative, uh, creative, and visionary institutions, civil society institutions that I have met. Its profile has reached uh, high. It is uh, such a, it's what we say, a good faith organization that everybody, everybody wants to work with. Through this experience, FIMI has demonstrated that the empowerment and strengthening of indigenous women's leadership skills can be achieved through the implementation of processes that combine political participation, capacity building, and organization and strengthening. FIMI aims to remain a door of opportunity for the joint participation and empowerment of indigenous women, which is not possible without allies and partners who rely on our work and the visible results that come from the testimonies of the participants. Once again, we thank you very much for the support, solidarity and contribution to this achievement. I'm uh, almost a graduate here at FEMI, and most amazing global leadership school for women. I have learned so much here. It is, it, I, my heart is too full of words to say it, but know that the experience here is a once in a lifetime event.